and I've been at LCA since fifth grade. Hi, I'm Alana and I've been here since my sophomore year. Hi, I'm Kelsey and I have been here my whole life. One senior year is, in other words, a process of understanding more and more fully of what actually goes on in one's freshman year. I know this might sound cliche, but we've walked the same hallways that you guys are about to walk and that you're walking in right now, and we've been through most of the same experiences that you're probably going to experience. And so, I guess just our freshman year, we wish that somebody would have given us this advice that we're about to give to you. I'm here today to share tips for surviving high school and freshman year. Um, I would advise to study in your classes. Grades are really important through high school. I know freshman year is really easy, but um, studying and making up your grades is really important because it like stacks up your GPA, which helps you in college. Um, grades do make a difference through all of it, so I would definitely not slack off freshman year, even though it's easy to. I wouldn't wise to do that. Um, you get hall passes in every class. Some classes only do three a semester, so make sure you wise. Make sure you are wise enough to use all of your hall passes when you need them. Um, I wouldn't do that because I've done that before, using all of my hall passes in one week, and then later on in the semester, I needed one really badly, and I got a bad grade on that homework assignment because I didn't have my book. So I would advise to use your hall passes wisely. Um, your relationship with your teachers and faculty are really important through high school. I um, have a teacher who is technically my second mom, who I love her to death, and she's always there for me. Her, she's a, one of the librarians, name is Shannon, and she has been there for me my whole high school experience. Um, so I would advise to have a teacher for you, teacher or faculty member to help you through high school. And um, if you are friends with the office, they will help you get, um, they will help you when you are absent or uh, late to a class and they can help you with that. Respecting them, they will respect you. I'm going to give you some words to live by throughout your whole high school career. So the first one is don't stress over everything. So while you're um, here at school, you might stress over your grades that you make, um, the classes that you're taking, um, and just maybe just that you're playing a sport and then you have a test that night, just anything that you're stressed over. And it's okay to stress, but it's not okay to stress to the point where it's just gonna affect you and affect um, your mood and stuff like that. And um, don't stress over um, what people think about you. Just be the kind of person you want to be and just impact uh, everyone the way you want to be impacted. And be cautious when choosing friends. So when I was um, a freshman, um, I didn't have that great of friends. My friends tore me down and just made me a bad person. But then I switched friend groups. Um, and I ended up being with people who build me up and um, just help me feel better about myself and made the people around me feel better about themselves. Which um, throughout your whole high school um, career, like your friend groups are going to change. You're gonna become friends with people that you might have never talked to before, like, um, like at all. Um, and then working hard will produce success. So um, you might not be perfect at everything or you might not even be close to perfect. But um, if you just work hard and show that you're giving effort, then success will happen and it will, um, the outcome that will uh, happen will be probably the better one, even if it wasn't mainly or like even close to what you wanted it to be. So. Okay, and then lastly, we kind of wanted to give you guys a bucket list for whenever you go throughout high school of things that we think that everybody should do. And our first item would be to go as many school events as you can. So that includes like games and dances and then just also random stuff. Something random is kind of like dance blue. I know it seems kind of daunting because it's like you go to school all day and then you go and you stay up throughout the whole night. But it's kind of weird because every year, at least me and my friends, I know that we look forward to that and we end up having fun even though there may be a couple hours where we're just exhausted. It's funny because you're laughing with your friends and you're making really good memories. 
And then games are something that I, when I was a freshman and when I was a sophomore as well, I think, I just kind of blew off as stuff that I can do later in my high school career. Like, I can do that my senior year. I'll worry about that this year or whatever. But you end up getting really busy, like, the more that high school goes on. And so it's almost like you have less time to enjoy those things. So it's really important that you take time when you're not as busy with everything, like college applications and, like, getting like greater responsibility and you have time to go to the games and enjoy them because you're going to make a lot of friends and make a lot of cool memories from those. And then dances are basically the same. I know that they sound really boring and like they may not be like the most enticing thing to go to, but just like the other things like games and random like fundraisers and whatnot, your friends are going to be there most likely. And so you're going to have fun just because of the people that are um, surrounding you. So. Our next item would be to join a random club, and so that's not like National Honor Society or Beta Club or Y Club because those are mainly just like application fillers, sort of. Like you can say like, oh, I'm in this club, but it doesn't really take much to be in there. Like, yeah, you need certain like credits and whatnot, but all you're doing is community service. You're not really gonna do something for National Honor Society and be like, oh, I had so much fun doing that. So I would say join a random club, like I joined Spanish club this year and I know the fact that I'm going to have a lot of friends or fun because me and my friends all um, signed up for that club and so it'll be fun to just make memories with them. And then lastly we would say to get out of your comfort zone because I think that we put a lot of limitations on ourselves as we go throughout high school based on if we think we're going to feel comfortable. And so we'll be like, oh, well, I would have done that sport, but I like would be really bad at it. Or I would do this, but I've never done it before. And high school is all about trying new things and getting out of your comfort zone. Because when you're like out of high school, you're not going to know or you're probably not going to talk to as many people like from your high school as you think you will. And so if you have like an embarrassing moment on a team or if like something happens where you just think like you're never going to live it out, like, it's not gonna be the end of the world. And if anything, it'll be something funny that you can look back on. So I have a verse to share and it's Psalms 90, 12. Teach us, the, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Um, so high school might be really difficult and it might seem like the end of the world to some people, but it's not as difficult as it's made to seem. Um, if you just get out of your comfort zone and show kindness to like everyone, then it'll be fine. You know, you'll survive and you'll just have a great time in doing so. And time, like high school, it passes a lot quicker. Than yeah, you think, so. like a lot faster than you're gonna um, expect it to. And so just like, don't take it for granted. Just make the most of it and just enjoy every moment of it like we have. So thanks. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs>